In this video, we will just be quickly covering some definitions for series and parallel circuits because we're going to be working with these a lot going forward. So, so far, we have just been looking at this very simple circuit that just has two parts, a battery and a resistor. And obviously, eventually, we want to start analyzing more complex circuits, so say things that have a single battery but multiple resistors. Maybe you have something that looks like this, where there's one resistor there and then two more like this, and it loops back to the battery. And to analyze this, we need to understand the difference between a series and parallel circuit. So we're going to introduce this kind of informally in this video and then talk about them in a little more detail in a future video when we get to Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. But the kind of simple explanation is that for series components, as I'm going to demonstrate with these two resistors in this circuit, they are connected end to end. So they are only connected at one end node or junction or whatever you want to call it, connected here. And since they are connected end to end, the current through these two components must be the same. So I current is the same. for these two components in the series. And I should note that I am demonstrating this with resistors here, but this applies to anything. So this would also apply to capacitors, inductors, batteries, etc. Any generic two terminal circuit parts, so something with two leads, two wires, or two ends, you can connect them in series by connecting them end to end. And the current through those two parts when they're in series will be the same. Conversely, if you connect two things in parallel, you connect them at both ends. So, here these two resistors are in parallel. The current through these is not the same. Okay, the current splits at this junction. Again, we'll talk about that more in a future video. But the voltage drop, so actually let me back up a bit. They are connected at both ends. connected at both ends. And this is where it is important to remember how circuit diagrams work. Even though I haven't literally drawn the two ends of the resistors connected here, this diagram is equivalent to, say, drawing it like this, where the resistors are literally connected at the ends there. All I've done here is extend this line over to keep everything nice and at right angles, but this is all just one connection here, so this is electrically equivalent to connecting the two ends of those resistors. So they're connected at both ends to put them in parallel, unlike the parts that are only connected at one end to put them in series. And in this case, when we have two things in parallel, the voltage across them is the same. And again, a little more formally, this is called Kirchhoff's voltage law, which we'll talk about in a future video, but the voltage drop delta V across both of those components. So voltage is measured between two points, which again, we haven't really talked about a lot yet because we've just been talking about this very simple circuit that really only has one voltage in it. So current across these is not the same, but the voltage drop across them is. And you can have more complex circuits. For example, this one I drew here <coughs> at first where you have combinations of series and parallels. So for example, these two resistors are in parallel to each other. You can see they are connected at both ends here. But this branch or section of the circuit, if I draw, say, a dotted line around that, this section of the circuit with those two resistors in parallel is in series with this section of the circuit because they are only connected at this end. Now, as with everything else, it is important not to get tripped up by the physical arrangement of either the real circuit or the circuit diagram. What matters is the electrical connections. So, for example, I could draw, say, a funky looking circuit like this for whatever reason. And yes, these resistors are physically in parallel to each other, meaning I've drawn the two physical symbols in parallel to each other. But the electrically, these are still in series because they are only connected at one end and the current flowing through them is the same. So this is still series that is not a parallel connection. And for parallel, for example, if I have 
my one resistor like this and I draw the other resistor like that, so geometrically you would say, oh, those aren't parallel, they're, they're perpendicular, that's a 90 degree angle. But again, what we care about is the electrical connection here. So these are connected at two ends. You don't care about the geometric angle. You can draw this however you want. Again, I could draw this with all sorts of crazy curvy lines. The other resistor can be all the way over here. Electrically, those are still in parallel because they're connected at two ends. And again, same thing yeah, applies to series. So again, remember that we are talking about electrically in series and parallel, not geometric series and parallel. This is gonna be an important concept to understand as we go forward and start talking about more complex circuits with multiple resistors and multiple batteries.